TikTok. That's right, TikTok. In the news once again this morning, the company rolling out some new features for families, new features for teenagers, and here to walk us through those and some other technology headlines as well. Our guy that covers tech, NBC's tech correspondent, Jake Ward. Welcome back, yes. good sir. Would you like Thank a donut? You. No, I'm not <laughs> breaking donuts. the seal on this because I won't get through the segment. I'm sorry, please. So Fire away. Let's, let's, let's start with TikTok here. Yeah. First of all, because I'm, I'm not a big TikToker. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys are big no, TikTokers. No. But apparently it's easy to get lost on TikTok. Perhaps yes. even more so on TikTok than some of the other apps. Why is that? Well, so, you know, I wrote a book about technology's influence on human behavior, and I'm the kind of person that TikTok has to say, go to bed, you've looked wow. at enough. I wow. get videos that say, go to bed now. So, and you should know better. And I should know better, right? <laughs> I'm the guy who should know better, but I don't. And this is the thing, right? TikTok has created an extraordinary device that just makes it extraordinarily easy and passive to feed, to get this feed. You don't have to have really any friends on the network at all. You're just getting it all. So it really has moved beyond, in a sense, the way that Facebook mm -hmm. used to work. It's now just this sort of random feed of really entertaining stuff, and it can just Catered keep you going you. for hours mm -hmm. and hours and hours. What are these new features that they're rolling out? Well, so now they are announcing that there's going to be a 60-minute limit on anybody under 18 using TikTok, and they'll have to automatically enter a password to get beyond that. Mm. There's a weekly usage recap, and then there's these family pairing options, which allows people to, in theory, uh, you know, uh, spike certain hashtags they don't want their kids to see, set new limits with their kids. Kids. All of this, TikTok says, is going to help the well-being of young people. I asked them, why 60 minutes? They couldn't really tell me why mm -hmm. 60, because the science is not established on this. What we do know is that depression and anxiety has doubled in kids since 2009. Oh, the State of the Union, they mention it, right? TikTok, like all these social media companies, mm -hmm. seems to be trying to get out in front of that. Yeah, so you've got Microsoft uh, relaunching Bing, yeah. which I didn't even know was still around. Mm. Uh, but it's now got this AI component to it. That's right. So chat GPT, a phrase I'm sure you've heard over and over again, is this sort of mimicry system that goes out and reads the best of the internet and then can just complete sentences endlessly. Mm. So you ask it, write me an English paper that does this, or write me a knock-knock joke, and it will write it for you. Microsoft is now going to work that into its search results. So rather than saying, you know, I want to find out what the weather is, and it takes you to NBC News, instead it's just going to tell you the weather and some other oh. ideas and some other ideas. So it's a conversation you're having with the search engine mm -hmm. rather than it. And this is why, of course, Google has also announced a competitor to this. Mm -hmm. We're seeing a big explosion in uh, activity in the search wars right now. They're going to be transformed by this. Don't worry, There's, guys. They're no. still going to come to you for the weather. I, I, I don't know. know. I don't it's, know, you guys. You can't get as accurate as, you know, what no, comes from no, a, no, right. Right. Uh, Nor is pleasant. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> I also find it weird. I don't. I don't know if it's lying, but this whole AI video editing features yes. and, and various features that are coming out. Tell us more about that. So those. basically, you know, with with AI, we're seeing this what, this new technology, ChatGPT, in which you're able to type in a request and mm -hmm. it'll kick something back at you. Well, we're also now starting to see that in art, in music, and now in video. So I've got a few examples of it for you. So if, for instance, you put a photograph of one of your ancestors, a still photograph, mm -hmm. into this piece of technology, that technology, my heritage, will in fact animate that photo for you. Oh my gosh. Oh my back to goodness. life, right? So you can experience what she was like Whoa. as she was sitting there with your grandfather, right? And here's the thing, you guys, oh you know, the, 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 it just goes on and on. Another one I'll show you, Dylan, you mentioned this thing about mm. like looking away when we sort of space out on Zoom, because mm -hmm. who can sit there and look at, <laughs> into the camera the whole day? Well, NVIDIA figured that out, and they have built a similar kind of technology that mm -hmm. in this case makes eye contact for you with the camera lens, even when you space out. So you can be looking oh, away as the as she is there on the left but look as if you're looking into the camera on the right so that's dangerous for like when you go back to you know school from home right you know right. kids are just sort of watching tv that's in the background. right you know that'd that's be great right. for us when our wives start going on turn on the feature that's right and up until now you know it's only been possible to really you know you you could trust that you could tell the difference between what was generated and what was not we're past that it's now wow harder. jake ward oh, thank you goodness. thank you you always scare I know, I know. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.